M0 FXP. Welcome back to my videos on the ICOM IC7300 and now the new ICOM IC7300 Mark II. What's the difference? The first thing straight away is the external display HDMI output, then CW decode. Of course, they have improved the hardware and we're going to look at their brochure. The 7300 was a game changer. Uh, there was nothing like it on the market. After the 7300, the whole game changed. Everyone copied, everyone was doing, you know, trying to do a waterfall. No one's ever done it quite as good as they did it all those years ago. And that says a lot, doesn't it? I think it's 15 years or something massively ahead of its time, really easy to use a touch screen that sort of thinks like you think. I mean, you want to change the screen, sorry, the frequency, tap it. You want to change the mode, tap it and so on and so on. You want to move across and see the band, tap it and you can move around. And of course, lots more on RTTY decode. So all I can really do is just go through the brochure because most of you know about the 7300 and I do think it's the best one out there um, for starters. The reason many go for the 710 is it's an absolute bargain to buy and I've still got my 710 and the external display is nice. It's very nice. Yeah, uh, that's the main reason. And in the UK, we're very lucky we get four meters. So I'm just going to scroll down and just read titles. You tell me what you think. The price is going to be what? £1,500, I reckon. They're going to discontinue the 7300. Uh, I picked mine up when I got it second hour for £650. So I have no complaints. I, I could think about part exchanging it, but then I'm like, well, why? I'd rather have the radio than £650 that, you know, um, that I can sell that radio whenever I want and get and get back, you know, because it's, it's one of the best sellers. So it says here, it's going to read the standout things. Improved RMDR and phase noise characteristics, built-in CW decoder, lower heat generation power consumption, a simplified version of the RS BA1. So you literally just tap a screen, uh, sorry, tap a button and it just connects to the RS BA1 after a very small configuration. It's got an Ethernet port. So that means once you've got this connected to your network, then you can connect to it wirelessly anywhere in the world with, you know, with configuration. HDMI output, USB-C with a dual com and audio. Uh, so that's good. It means you can literally plug your USB-C into this. It says audio. Put it into your PC and you're going to hear it. You're going to hear the radio straight away without having to do anything, really. And then it says here, RX antenna in out. And so I think um, if you're itching to change your set, then I think this is the, definitely the way to go. The Yaesu FTX one, 2,000 odd pounds. Um, it comes apart and the front's got this big white head unit. Um, you know, it's it's different. It's different because I, obviously I can, I've got the similar experience here. When I use my 7300, I can just grab it, put it somewhere. It's lightweight, connect my antenna. And that's one thing they haven't done is added a second antenna, which I think you should have really. But anyway, it doesn't, it's not a deal breaker. You can get an antenna switcher, put it on a table outside. It's got a built-in tuner, so is the 7300, of course, and you're away. All you need is a length of wire cut to the right size or a, the tuner will work. You've got that emergency mode. Now, one of the things that gets brought up is the internal battery. Apparently, they've got a larger battery now and they've solved that problem. But I mean, mine has a flat internal battery and it literally makes no difference to me. Um, so lower heat consumption, HDMI, RX in and out. There's the rear display there. And you're seeing the, those looks like SMA connectors for the receive antennas. Uh, obviously, everyone just correct me if I'm wrong. Amplifier connections, speaker outs, single. I mean, I don't know why they just left a single. I mean, they don't want to sort of maybe compete with a 7610. HDI mount, there's your USB. It's going to be plug and go this radio, honestly. IP and, you know, it is very welcome because you'd be surprised how many programs work so much better when they've uh, when they've got Wi-Fi. Now I'm not seeing any mention of Bluetooth. Now you can't just buy a Bluetooth adapter, seven pound ninety nine, plug it into the back, and um, you've got Bluetooth. So it's not really a big deal. Um, and they, they sell a really good one on Amazon. But you know it's nice to see it on the screen, isn't it? Like you do with the seven oh five, you get the Bluetooth. Of course, some people say, well, why didn't they make it a shack in the box? Why didn't they do VHF, UHF, Airband, all that? Agree, agree. The price would be a lot higher. But agree, and that's if they if they made if they made in the same case a shack in the box like the ICOM seven oh six, 
It would be a massive seller. They did the 9700. They charge crazy money for that, if you ask me. Two and a half thousand pounds. I know it does 23 cents. Um, who, does, who do people talk to on 23 cents, actually? Because I feel like generally they just got the radio there. Oh, yeah, it does 23 cents. And who to speak to? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm talking generally, not the people that are like enthusiasts on 23 cents. Uh, but it's a beautiful radio. And for me, Jack in the Box would have been. Wait, I pay. I don't know what I pay, but two thousand five hundred quid for a shack in the box with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. That's a good selling radio. Um, instead, people had to buy the nine seven hundred, put the seven three hundred on top, and you got this big sort of hi-fi sort of stacking thing going on. And it's not really what we want, is it? We want it all in one. It's, uh, there's plenty of room there. Let's face facts. They've done it with the FTX one. They've squashed everything into the front end. They've done it with the 705. It's definitely doable. Um, so, yeah, I would say watch this space of the 705 Mark II. Uh, possibly they're going to make it dual, possibly dual receive. Possibly they might make a module so you can turn it into 100 watts. But I, I don't think Icon like to copy, though. They like to lead. Um, so and Icon do not make bad products ever ever so when people say it's just another radio shoved in a box in a slightly different box and they put a hdmi out and no 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 that's not icon yeah and uh even the asu don't don't make bad products uh, but i do find that icon a lot of the time um when they come out with a product uh it's future proof bye for now seven three all the best catch you on air